Good afternoon folks, I'm Kev Pohl, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to save your outfits in DMO. Now if you're looking for a gaggle of ass and you want to impress hot chick 342 while he's sitting in his mom's basement, this is the fucking way to do it. So you can either head over there now like I did or head over there after you get out of the trailer but head over to a clothing store and go return a casting trailer. You get in the casting trailer you're gonna want to press triangle once you put because your character's kind of fucked up and sideways here could be facing the other way whatever just press triangle it's gonna face itself around well you're gonna get an alert like this decline it decline that alert boom now you're facing forward now you can back out of here and go to like your beach bums your board walkers or whatever you want and just start scrolling through the different outfits with square once you find an outfit that you like all you got to do is press triangle that'll shortlist it to your list I think you can hold 20 or 10 or I don't know you can hold a bunch anyways but you can only save 10 out or 20 outfits anyways so don't overdo it just in case this shit doesn't work for you the first time you can always try later so you're gonna find a bunch of obscure shit right here my arms are invisible I just waited for about 20 30 seconds poof arms are gonna come back there you know it's not gonna work if you want invisible arms you gotta wear those racing gloves or some shit like that don't do it just regular gloves. It needs to be those fat ass racing gloves. You can find a shit ton of stuff in here. Looks pretty bizarre. You're gonna get all the hot chicks. You know, the ones sitting in their mom's basement. But anyways, have fun with it. Find as much as you can. Shortlist a whole bunch of actors. You can find the duffel bag. Uh, throw that on there too. I'll show you how to save that. It's a little bit different than saving regular outfits, but yeah, just kind of go through and scroll and uh, shortlist a bunch of these bastards. So, when you're leaving the trailer, just back out to where you find your online character 1 or online character 2. Whichever one of them are on there, you were on before, press X, it'll let you leave the trailer. It'll put you back at that clothing shop you're at. From here, we're going to want to run inside and save this shit that we just spent an hour fucking scrolling through. <laughs> so, walk up to this little beatnik at the counter, press right on the D-pad, it'll pop up here. Press square, and that'll let you fuck around with your saved outfits. What? Go and accept an empty one or write over your old shit, doesn't matter. But here you're gonna wanna start saving all your outfits. Sometimes if you're wearing an outfit and you try to talk to the clerk and she doesn't talk to you, she's not just stuck up, you're wearing something that's not good. So, I'll show you how to fix that right away. So, if you're wanting to save a duffel bag or say you have some juggernaut gear that this bitch just isn't accepting, what you're gonna want to do is open up the clerk menu and then open your interaction menu go back to that character with the duffel bag select it things are gonna little be look look ah things are gonna look a little fucked up see all this shit is blacked out or blank can't see anything that you know what's working just save the outfit there it'll be on later on when you go to save all your stuff you're golden from here you know you're gonna save your duffel bag or your fucking whatever gear else you got on but don't worry hot chick 342 will love this shit so go scroll through all your outfits save them all in all different spots from here if you want to go back to the casting trailer and fuck around a little bit more go and change something on one of your characters or one of your outfits change a beanie go buy a pair of fucking shoes it's going to change your shit but don't worry you already got it saved to the clerk and then from here you can just return to casting trailer It'll let you fuck around a little bit more and find more things that you want to find. But, if you're satisfied with your hoopla of bullshit that you've just created, and you're done with uh, this round of DMO, just go outside. You can do it from inside. I just walked outside. Doesn't fucking matter. Don't judge me. Anyways, go exit director mode. Open your interaction menu. Select exit director mode. It's going to pop you over at Lester's place. This is proof. It moves you across the fucking map. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. <laughs> so, once you're out of director mode, now you're going to want to force a save and save all this crap. There is a multitude of different ways that you can create or force saves. You can change your outfit. You can have a vehicle blow it the fuck up i think right here i blow up my oppressor mk2 or whatever the fuck and yeah little save circle in the corner there it's perfect you can call morris mutual and buy a car that you've already destroyed back 
or pay for the insurance on it. Boom, you get another saving circle. So just to be safe, do it twice. Always do it twice. You know the whole measure twice, cut once bullshit? Yeah, you don't want to have to do all this again. So just force two saves. You'll be golden. Now, as I said, when you exit director mode, check and make sure all your outfits are there. Because there's no point in doing all this if you just fucked it up. Generally, when I'm just doing outfits, I jump into director mode, I stay in my close friend session, I do all the shit I need to do, I exit director mode, then I come back in later on, then I can have fun with, like, Beast Online or props or buying more shit with the multitudes of money that you have from frozen money isn't that fucking awesome I think we can handle that. <laughs> anyways you can only buy so much anyway so it's kind of nice to make some cool shit and bring on custom cars take a look at a couple of my other videos show you how to save your cars solo it's always better if you have a friend to help you mind once you're finished doing the saves do it 20 times it doesn't fucking matter once really only counts but better to do it twice press your options button you're going to want to go over to Creator. Open up Creator. Once you're inside Creator, press the option buttons again. And then you're going to want to select Go Online. Go to a close friend session. Fuck, go regular online, I think, if you want. I don't know. Close friend works for me, so I just stick with that. Go to a close friend session, and then just make sure that your shit actually worked. I do find sometimes the loading time when you're going from creator to online after you've been in DMO is fucking horrendous. Don't give up. It, uh, it'll it eventually go. Sometimes it won't, but yeah, most times it will. This dirty bastard sitting here taking a fucking shower. Anyways, once he's finished, we're gonna go run over to the wardrobe. We're gonna make sure all our shit's saved. I'm pretty sure it did. I wouldn't have made a video about it if it didn't. <laughs> Anyways, head over to the wardrobe right d-pad and start scrolling through your outfits once you find the outfits that uh, have things that are like duffel bags I think there's some juggernaut gear I'm not positive but whatever some shits just not acceptable like mr. fucking pussy face here I mean taco face <laughs> everyone likes taco he's wearing a duffel bag well you can't really have that in your wardrobe so if you want to mess around in the wardrobe more just go into the options menu, go to style, pick a different character, go back into your wardrobe. But at least you'll know that your duffel bag is saved as well as your other outfits. So, I'm Kevpool. Thanks for watching my crazy fucking video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. From here, you're going to close the app. You're going to clear the goddamn cache. And you're going to rinse and repeat if you have some shit on there that you want to do again. Anyways, cheers guys. Have fun.